Don't take the take care of God's yeah, children. That's right. Amen. Don't mind. Repeat after me Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes into the hill. I will lift up my eyes into the hill. From which cometh my help. From which cometh my help. From which cometh my help. From the Lord. I am coming from, from the Lord. Which made heaven and earth. Which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee. He that keepeth thee. Keep thee. Keep will not slumber. Will not slumber. Behold. Behold. He that keepeth Israel. He that keepeth Israel. Shall neither slumber nor sleep. 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 The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day. The sun shall not smite thee by day. No moon by night. No moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. Thy coming in. Thy coming in. This time forth. This time forth. And even evermore. The word of God says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Yes. And all that he is within me. Yes, sir. Bless his holy name. Yes, sir. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Word, sir. And forget not all his benefits. Yes, sir. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Yes. Who healeth all thy diseases? Thank you. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Yes, who crowneth thee with loving kindness? Yes, sir. And to the mercy. <laughs> Satisfies thy mouth with yes, 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 So that thy youth is renewed like the yes, end. Yes. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment. Yes, yes. All that are oppressed. Yes. He made known his ways unto Moses. Yes, his acts unto the children yes. of Israel. Yes. In the old Lord. Yes. Lord yes. Put my trust. Yes. Let me never be put to confusion. Yes. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Yes. Always. Cause me to escape. Yes, sir. Incline thy ear under me. Yes. And save me. Yes, sir. Be thou my strong habitation. Yes. 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 Continually yes. Yes. Thy yes. Yes. Thou art my rock yes. 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 and my fortune. Yes. Yes. Deliver me, Lord, yes. yes. oh my God, yes. out of the hand of the wicked, yes, sir. out of the hand of the unrighteous, yes. and a cruel man. Yes, Lord. Thou art my hope, yes. Yes. oh Lord God. Yes. Thou art my trust yes. from my youth. Yes, sir. By thee have I been holding up Lord. from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my yes, love. My praise, my praise, continually. Always. I was a wonder, yes, sir, among the many, but thou art my strong river. <laughs> yes, Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, <laughs> and with thy honor all yes, day. Yes, Cast me not off, Lord. time of away. way. Yes. Save me not, yes, with yes. my strength. Yes. Pray with me. Let us yes. pray. <laughs> Eternal, gracious master, yes, uh, the giver and the sustainer of life. Oh, yes, right. Holy creator, we're standing in humble submission. Yes. Yes. Of an awesome God. Yes, you are sovereign God. Yes, you are loving God. Yes. You are providing God. Yes, you give us everything that we need. Yes, and we come this morning to lift up our voices to you. Yes, our minds to you. Yes, our hearts to you. Yes. Our situations yes, to you. Yes, our trials and tribulations. Yes, our disappointing yes, moments. Our victory yes, and success. Mercy, we come this morning in person. Yes, to give it to you. Yes, sir. And ask you, please, to have mercy. Mercy, mercy suits our case. Yes, you do. This morning, Master, yeah. we are recognizing Mother's Day in the oh, United oh, States. Oh, oh. All the mothers of my yes, Lord, thank you. Bless them, Master. Thank you. Name by name, yes, sir. one by one. Yes. You know exactly that you made them yes, sir. for creation pay. Oh, you made them to be the mother. To bring life into the world. Yes, Lord. They went to the valley of death. Yes, the shadow of death. Yes, and you brought them back, Master. Yes, to be able to bring life yes, into this world. Yes, we Lord. thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. For the ones that you have thank selected. You. Name by name. Yes, one by one. Yes, Lord. And we thank you, Master. Thank you, that you watched over. Yes, and we up to this day right now. We ask you don't mind, Master. That's been some broken heartedness. Yes, that's been some disappointment. That's the time they've been believed, Master. Yes. But you are company keeper. Yes. You had the Lord care. Yes. You brought them through every trial and tribulation. Yes. Oh, and you didn't bring them this far to let them go. Oh, and Master, that's some, some of us have broke our mother's heart. Yes. We're the one that called our mother some, some pain along the way. Oh, yes. And we ask if you don't mind to give up. Yes, and we need to know no better. Yes. But we thank you for this day to recognize the love. Thank you very much. Now this morning we come to give you some praise. Yes. We come to lift up your holy name. Yes. Master, we praise Word. you because yes. there's been some bereavement. You call somebody home. Yes. Yes. You yes. love them, Master. You pluck them out yes. of the vineyard. Yes. Yes. They'll work quick in because you decide to bring them home. Yes. Thank you for their lives. Yes. Thank you for allowing us to have them in our lives, the joyful moments. Yes. Name by name. Yes. 
one by one. Yes. And if you don't mind, gracious, not to touch the grief family. Yes. You know they're hurting right now. They don't understand. Yes. Sometimes words get in the way. Yes. But you are God that can make a change in that yes. circumstance. Yes. Touch them right now where they're at. In the pain. Yes, in the hurt. In the loneliness. Oh, yes. The things that they're going through right now. Oh, yes. But you're a healer. You're a doctor. Yes. You're a bridge over trouble war. Oh, yes. Master, that's nothing. You can't heal. And this morning, we just want to tell you thank you. Yeah. Thank you for allowing each and every one of us yes, to see a brand new day. Yes. You gave us another chance to see the day that you have yeah. had. I know it's been rough times, Master, but we come to praise you this morning. We come and give you thank you this moment for our heartache, for our trials, for our yeah. tribulation. Yeah. We come to shout our way over everything that tries to steal our joy because yeah. our joy is in you. Yeah. And thank you, Master. Last night, laying down. Yes, our bed was not cool and low. Yes, and our sheep were not wine and clothes. Yes, but you reached down through the low man of sorrow. Yes, and you touched us. Yes, Open our eyes. Yes, see a brand new day. Yes, we just come to take. Yes, you didn't have to do it, but you put food yes, on our table. Yes, you put clothes on our back. You put shelter yes, over our head. We just want to tell you thank you yes, that you allowed us, Master, yes, be in our right mind. Yes, Come to the house of prayer. And thank you, Master, for the gift you gave to mankind. Oh, you only got Son Jesus Christ. He died and rose right. Thank you. I have a right. Thank right. you. Right on, King Jesus. Right on. Jesus. 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 Right on. Jesus. 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 You don't mind, right? Stop, old King Jesus. Right on, King Jesus. Stop, I go for it. Right on, King Jesus. You don't mind, right? This morning. Now, your Holy Spirit had you wait this morning. This morning, we need. Yes, like we never did before. Yes, There's a need at this altar right, right, like we right. never needed before. There's a heartache that needs to be touched this morning like never yes. before. You know. There's a problem this morning we're facing you know. like never before. There's a low, heavy low this morning that only you can say. That's why Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. And I'll give you some rest. Jesus, we stand here on that promise this morning. We stand here on your word this morning. You know the load we carry this morning. If you don't mind, we're going to leave it at the altar. If you don't mind, just for a little while, we're going to let you handle our problem. And we're going to praise you. We're going to shout our way out of it. We're going to give you praise in the midst of our heartache. In the midst of our pain. We're going to shout our way, Master. Let you know I don't know when. I don't know how. But you're going to change our circumstance. Yes, you're going to change the way we feel. You're going to change our hearts. Heart. Give you some praise. We come to lift up the holy hands of small. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in our sight. Oh Lord, our strength in our redeemer. It's in Jesus' name. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Give the Lord a hand clap and pray. In the house of the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Yes, Lord. Gifts. So 
just want y'all to know that I love y'all from the bottom of my heart and thank y'all for being in my life and I'm glad that God gave me y'all. Joy shall be in heaven over one sinner. One sinner. Right. That repent. 
more than over 99 just persons which need no repentance. And then verse 10 says, Likewise I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repent. So every one of them sinners that came in, come on, man. That's right. Amen. Amen. It was his purpose. Amen. God's for drawing call. Amen. Because we're all sinners saved by grace. Sometimes we forgot the walk we didn't yes. have to come down. Yes. Yes. We grateful for David. Yes. And I want to let you thank you, thank you, thank you for whatever you did, whatever, whatever action you did, <laughs> the kind of word that you said. Everything that you've done to make it a success, I'm going to let you thank you. Yeah. Very, yeah. Just land, I'm going to let you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. We are very, Amen. very appreciative Amen. that you all came out to help lift up the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It's the greatest thing I just want to let you thank you. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Today's sermon is coming out of the book of Colossians, out of the New Testament. And it's going to be coming out of the first chapter of Colossians. All right, then. God, Paul is going to tell us about his Christ. Why are you getting him to give you a little background? The relationship of Christ to redemption is revealed in the death declaration that he is not only the firstborn of all creation, but firstborn <laughs> from the dead. Between the original creation and the resurrection, there was the tragedy of sin and its issuance of death. In resurrection, he was victor for all of these. Mm -hmm. Results of his peace and reconciliation between all that had been separated as a result of sin. Okay. We're going to find that Paul is reaching back in history mm -hmm. and talking to the church of Colossus how important it is. Colossians. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be looking uh, at Colossians' first chapter. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at put your finger right there. We're going to look at verses 9 through 12. And also, look over. We're going to look at the second chapter, verses 9 and 10. So we got a rich text we're going to be looking at today. We're going to find out what Paul was telling people back in Roman days. How important it is in this world. It's all about Christ. It's the greatest thing that we have. That's it. It's about Christ. That's right. And it's so rich. I'm glad God allowed you to wake up this morning. Amen. Amen. And allowed you to make it this way. Thank you. Let's see, young folks. Glad you make it this way. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for you. Amen. God for you. God's been giving you traveling grace. Put down life on your side. But we got such a rich text this morning. I want you to see it for yourself. Because it's for us. Can we read? Colossians, first chapter, verse starting, verse 9. No problem. Verse 9 to 12. Read the back. Yes. Find yes. the Yes. 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 Okay, amen. Yeah. Amen. Okay. First chapter for, in Colossians verses 9 through 12. Let's read that to you had to say. For this cause we are also sincere to not cease to pray for you and to desire ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye may walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father, which had made us meet to partake of the inheritance of the saints in life. Read the second chapter, verse 9 and 10. For in him of the fullness of God head bodily. And ye are completing him which is the head of all principality of God. When you use my subject this morning, hmm. the believers walk. Amen. The believers walk. Okay. The believers walk. Not any kind of walk. But the believers walk. 
Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand, faith is predicated upon one's personal conviction of belief. Your faith is important. That can only be nurtured within the context of a personal relationship with God. Uh -huh. okay? Your faith <coughs> can only be nurtured by a personal relationship with God. Amen. 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 Right? Hold it. You find here the, re the writer here was being challenged. Amen. And he was trying to, Paul was talking here and he's being challenged. And he wants to be clear. Yes. And what he did, Brother Timothy, he looked back with clear vision. He looked back as far as the human eye can go. He looked back through all the process, Brother Ant, of all the things in the midst of which he could find himself. He traced the material back as far as he can go back until the beginning <coughs> when he found Christ. Amen. Amen. The first woman of creation. Yeah. Then what he did, he can eat He looked and beheld the tragedies of evil and of sin. Yeah. But Cecil, the rivers of darkness oh, and of death, sweeping through the centuries uh -huh. until he saw death, power broken, the resurrection, Sister Lee, life worn out over death. And there again, he found Christ. God coming into the midst of human sin and human wrong. Let's say you, brother. The firstborn from among the dead. I want you to understand that. Then he looked on and where he gazed in and where he ended, I cannot see. But his vision was that of the ultimate reconciliation of things on earth and things in heaven. Right now. And the reconciler is the same Christ. He can he said, No matter how you look at it, where he looked, he kept running in the Christ. Who has beheld creation, who has caused it to be, who came into human history and broke the power of death. I know death has a grip on all of us. Yeah, but no Death has a tendency to hurt us. It grieves us. But he broke the power yes, is he? of death. Mm -hmm. He is the reconciliator. Amen. Yes, Having yes. made peace through the blood of his cross. Lord, yes, yes, yes. Yes, now. Yes. These all are the activities of deity, not humanity. Yes. All these things show <laughs> that who he is. Yes. Yes. And Paul is trying to describe it because he met him on that domestic road for himself. Uh -huh. yeah. You know why teaching that God told him? Come on, Joe Humanity did not create, nor did it break the power of death, uh -huh. and nor can it produce peace or reconciliation yeah. where there is war and strife. Uh -huh. Thus, having described the activities of Christ, he declared that in him were all the Godhead bodily. Mm. You find right here, brothers and sisters, the fullness of deity. Only here in the Bible, one time, do you find this word, Godhead. Godhead. Uh -huh. And that's Colossians, second chapter, verse 9. For in him dwell all the fullness okay. of the Godhead. That's the Godhead. Bodily. Yes. Uh -huh. Even the true manifestation of the Trinity. That's right. The triune God from eternity past. Uh -huh. And he manifested himself before he said, in the beginning. Lord. Uh -huh. And he looked through the street of of time. <laughs> And as far back as Paul can go, it's back to the recorded record of Genesis uh -huh. where the Bible declared in the beginning. Yeah. 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 Well, you and I can go. But Jesus looked through the stream of acts of time and looked beyond that. Uh -huh. He was in eternity. He was back in eternity. Yes, yes, in the war chest room of eternity. So he said right now, Job 26 and 7, he said he stretched out the earth and he owed nothing yes. on the empty place. Yes, and he hung earth on nothing. Yes. So before there was nothing, he was there before it was going to be something. And Paul is trying to explain to them, I know what you see, what you've heard, but I can't explain it. I can only obtain it because what the Holy Spirit gives you, 
And that is a revelation. Right. Uh -huh. Now that right here, Colossians 1 and 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ. Hold on now. By the will of God. And to carry us, our brother. That's your name in the Bible, young man. We find him right now, he says, I am Paul. Some folks call him the great hypocrite. Yes, yes. Come through this way, he would Judea, he would lead us, uh -huh. said unto Gabriel, sweet, and all of a sudden, you would turn me a bit and they're gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come back talk about the very one that you've been putting down. Because when Steve was a stone, he was there, you were on the floor. And change the name. Hallelujah. Brother and sister, when God touched you, you don't get changed. You didn't. Say, Grinchin. Yeah. 5 and 17 says, Any man being what? Christ. You preach. You preach. You hold what? All things. That's the way. And you hold what? All things. Oh, Lord. The believers walk. Brother and sister, we need to understand. Everybody in here got some back. Amen. Right. Amen. Everybody here got some issues. Right. Everybody here got some problems. Right. Everybody here got some skeletons. Right. You got to have a past. Your past helps your future. Amen. You'll be somebody just like you down the road. Yeah. Amen. And they're going to say, well, you don't know, but I've been where you're at. Hey. Uh -huh. Come on, baby. Come on. I understand what you're hey, doing. Brother and sister, like, that hey, Sunday evening when my aunt stood in, then she told the story about UFO. And you can see the expression on some people's faces. It was kind of like, and they were looking at my friend and see how they react. Like, ain't you ashamed? No, you got to be ashamed. But that's who we is. Yes, right. I know that's UFO. Yeah. I know it's a living God somewhere to change yeah. him. Come on, dude. And that's the greatest thing you can do, brother and sister, to tell your story. Not what you say, but the what you walk and what you done. It ought to be somebody can tell your story better than you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what they tell somebody? Say, I know you messed up. Yeah. Now look at that, what you're doing now. Say, I know it, but you ain't how you start. It's how you finish. Yeah. 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 somewhere. Yeah. Come on. Brothers, I'm trying to encourage somebody in here about your believer's walk. Uh -huh. God had to do something in your life to change your walk. <laughs> I said it, you, right? We got a personal inventory of about a greatest rascal that was in God's history book, and he called his name Paul. Oh, amen. Uh -huh. amen. That's right. I'm apostle of Jesus. Apostle. Christ. Right. Not by my own will, mm -hmm. but by the will of God. Yeah. It's God's will. Yeah, right. But so you said he here this morning, not because of your will, but because of God's will. We don't see it. And Timothy is our brother. Give me verse 2 and see what you got to say. To the same same faithful brother in Christ, which are close, close, bring me unto you and see from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, Now I'm right there to the saint. And the saint is ain't. He ain't sinning no more. What? I ain't doing what I used to do no more. Uh -huh. I didn't change. That's it. That's all I didn't change the walk I used to do. Right. I had a mental mindset of an attitude adjustment of changing what I used to do. Right. And that's all I'm going to do say the is. Yeah. He's the same because I ain't doing what I used to do. Yeah. Look, he said, to the saints and what? Faithful. Right. Brother, brother in what? In Christ. Brothers right. right. and sisters, this letter is for the believer who is faithful in Christ. Yeah. Because what Christ has done for you. Right. He's been faithful to you. At least you can be faithful to him. That's the least you can do. You know, he right. died for you. That's right. That's the least you can do is be faithful to him. That's right. That's right. That's the least you can do is tell a story yeah. about how he changed your life. That's it. All you got to do is walk and walk yeah. and talk and talk. That's it. That's all. He said, to the faithful yeah. which are at Colossus. He said, grace. Yes. You know, it's something you don't believe, huh? Amen. It's something you don't deserve. Grace, excuse me, yeah. be unto you, and guess what? Peace. From who? From who? God, our Father, mm -hmm. and who? The Lord, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, once you understand the power of the word of God, uh -huh. brothers and sisters, I want you to understand, once the church realized in the story of the Bible, he talks about in Genesis when God 
called a man named Abraham. Uh -huh. And he chose a man out of all the people that lived. Right? Yeah, right. Some people miss the point that I called Abraham this, that, and other. But they missed the point that he was a Gentile. That's it. That's right. He called him 400 years before he gave the law to Moses. That's it. And he told him, I'm going to make you somebody. That's it. That's right. You'll be the father of the faithful. That's right. And all that, he made a man. Uh -huh. And then he gave him some advice and said, I'm going to make you a father. Uh -huh. Now, wait until you're 100 years yeah. old. Yeah. And you wait 90 years old yeah. before you have a baby. Uh -huh. Now, young folks, I know you said, that old dirty old man ought to go sit down somewhere. <laughs> so now that your wife, she needs to go sit down somewhere. Lord. But God gave him a promise. Come on, yeah. come on now. Come on. God can promise somebody something in here. And if you thought he had acted, don't need an income. Wait on it. Wait on it. Wait on it. Come on. Because he believed his walk. And we found out that he made a nation. They grew. And at that point in time, he grew because they were circumcised. They were identified separated from everybody else. That's right. That's right. And we see it in the Old Testament, but it was not fulfilled because they didn't get the full revelation. Right, right, right. They were waiting in great anticipation right. of the Messiah coming. Right. In the New Testament, brothers and sisters, we have the fullness according to the scripture uh -huh. because of what Jesus did for you and I. Amen. And the church <laughs> is a nation that he's concerned about. Not the building. Say that, man. You're an individual. Come on, the church. Because he's the head of the church. And what Jesus did, he's making us a nation just like the church, like the children of Israel was. The church is a nation of Christian faith Come that on. moves now. And what you're saying, the power that you possess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's right. What you're saying, who you are in Christ. Yeah. You will make a movement. Yeah. And once the church realized the power she had because of the Bible, you can change your community. Amen. Amen. You can change your home. Friends, relatives. Brother Susan, I guarantee you that people you know that don't know the law. Right. Let me help you out. 25% of people ain't going to believe nowhere. 25% right. are going to believe. But there's a 50 cent one in the middle of the road. Those are the ones you can have influence on. Amen. Those are the ones that he's looking for. I was ready a few minutes ago. There's more joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. More than 99 just folks. <laughs> Playing church. Amen. 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 I'm talking about the one that don't want to know and say amen because I don't know no better. Yes, when he bring them in, when he bring them into his house. Amen. Amen. Would you get this? The believers walk. I pray his work, brother and sister. It's not in these four consecrated walks. Our great work is on the outside. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Are you living what you're saying? That's it. Can somebody accuse you of being a Christian because your kindness? Yes. Are you loving the unlovable? Yes, right. Are you helping the one that can't help themselves? Are you being a blessing financially because you got 50% more in poverty oh. and here's somebody that ain't got nothing? Oh, oh, can you at least give them a piece of bread? Yes. For being so selfish, ain't you all nowhere? I've been yes. preaching 31 years and I ain't never seen a preach truck. Yes. From the casket to the graveyard. Yes. It ain't yours no way. Yes. Brothers, remember one thing. As long as the groundhog don't bring in your mail, all is well. Yes. You got a chance to see another day. Yes. Well, this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. And we are rejoiced. Oh, yes. We're glad it is. Yes. Paul is talking to the church of Colossus. Like I'm talking to the church of all killed this morning. Yes. He said, Grace be unto you and peace yes. from God. I'm just a mouthpiece. Oh, Let you know God our Father is one of having you some peace and grace in your life this moment. And the Lord, uh -huh. Jesus Christ. Yes. And just something? Yes. Oh, you understand who Jesus is? That's why he celebrated Mother's Day today. Because of the love he gave humanity. And the only way for creation and multiplication of humanity is from a man and a woman populated. Amen. Because of the suffering you've been through. Just as you have been through the valley of a shadow of death. Amen. A man can never understand where you've been. Uh -huh. but it took God to take you through that. Come on, come on. Took God to take you through that pain. Finally, oh, through all the transition that you had to go through yes. to bring life yes. into this world. Right. The believers walk. Mm -hmm. Such that's why people don't demean the 
don't understand. Why the church ought to fool the most sister than, than men? Because y'all have been through most stuff that we had to go through. Yeah. Amen in the house. Yeah. Amen in the house. Yeah. Give me verse 3 and 4 if you don't mind. <laughs> we give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praying always for you. Since we heard the faith in Christ Jesus. And that's the love which you have to all the saints. Brother Susan, we find that Paul got excited by the church of Colossus. Uh -huh. yeah. He heard about what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to understand. Last Sunday evening, you impressed people by the anniversary. They sat back and saw a love that you had for Sister Henry and myself, and it was it. They saw something they never seen before. Mm -hmm. That was real, genuine compassion. Yeah, yeah. And everybody was concerned, and everybody was on one accord. <laughs> Just like Sister Jackson was speaking a few minutes ago about the love that's felt. The thing that's in there. That's genuine. You can't fake it. If it ain't real, it ain't going to be real. And the best thing we can do is be real, brother and sister. Because the bottom line, if you're shaking and faking, it's just a matter of time it's going to come out. That's why so many people get mad at me because I ain't had my dirty money. They say, well, man, now you all not be saying that. I say, well, my, somebody going to tell you. Uh, right. Man, he stood right there and told him. Right. Talking about somebody shot, I got to where I showed up and it was on like a pot of neck bone. Uh -huh. I need you to understand the bottom line is you need to understand what I always say sanctified. Yeah. Feel the Holy Ghost. That's right. And once we get past where about how people looking down on you because of your past, uh -huh. I did and I was good at it. Uh -huh. As a boss said, I know I got skeleton, yeah. but I got a story to tell because there's a living God that I trust and believe in. That's right. And it wasn't even very good. He understood that everybody he was talking to was saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. And that's the reason why I enjoy talking to Oak Hill and one out there on YouTube live and let you know you ain't always been saved, uh -huh. sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. But we give thanks to God yes. and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. What? Pray. That's why we pray every time we come down here. There's power in prayer. And when you hear about a need, brothers and sisters, your prayer life is powerful. The believers walk. You ought to be able to pray for somebody. Amen. Instead of saying, well, I'm going to get some. You ought to be able to stop what you're doing right here. Let's pray right now. Let's talk to the Lord right now. I don't know I can get a prayer through. You've done it before. Let's do it. Yeah. Are you again? Yeah. If you sign around what you know, you've been complimented because of the brotherhood. Different brothers want me to let you know your prayer is effective everywhere you go. You have a prayer life. Be going to touch by your Thank prayer. You. Yes, you. What you do, they hear you. Brother and sister, your prayer life has been powerful. And different ones from different churches say, well, I'm glad to hear Brother Cecil, Brother Wilson prayer because it's powerful. Yes. Brother and sister, the greatest thing you can do is pray, pray. for the one that's in need. Come on, man. Open up your mouth. How God know you're blessing me unless you open up your mouth. Say right now, praying always for why? Oh, oh so I'm praying for you. Yes. That's why we pray right here for Oak Hill. We pray for everybody. Because everybody's going through something. Amen. Everybody got some issues. Amen. Since we heard Amen. of your faith Amen. in Christ Jesus. Right? Right. Right. That's right. Come on now. Somebody's going to be talking about your walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got to say nothing. Hey. Somebody ought to accuse you. Being accused. Somebody ought to accuse you of walking different. Different walk. Different talk. Look the same on the inside, on the outside. But it's something about your attitude. Something about your walk. Something about your talk. So since we heard, we want to pray that God continue to elevate you. But you don't want to call. Because you know you can get a prayer through. Like this, he said. Since we heard of your faith in Christ, Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus, and of the love which he had for all the saints. Love is unconditional. That's right. Love is you. People that despise the you. It's all about love. It ain't option. John 3, 16, so if God so loved the world, he gave what? Now God gave his own begotten son. Nobody in here would give your child. 
Amen. Say the same word. Amen. Nobody in here. Yes, Lord, but because God so loved the word. Right. He did. Yes. That's what you love me. Right. So he find the greatest attribute you can have, brothers and sisters, is loving and displaying it. As Sister Jack was saying about a mother and Sister Lynn, how they display love for the one that's in me. Expressing beyond the boundaries of what they got. Stretch it a little bit. Yes. That God has a way of showing your gratitude. Yes. Now that what he says is amazing. When he says of the love that you share with all the saints. Yes. One thing about it, brothers and sisters, everybody needs love. Everybody do your favor and hug yourself. Yes. Come on. Yes. Lord, you ain't been hugged like that. Love and hug yourself. And hug yourself. Be obedient for one time. Yeah. 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 Hug yourself. Yeah. You need a love. Yeah. 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 If you don't love you, how you gonna show somebody else you love? How can you show love? You gotta prove it your own sin. Come on, Red. Well, I'm just trying to help you this morning. Because I'm talking about the believers walk. Trying to show you what's going on. And that's why I check it because it's for us this morning. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What about you, man? I'm here to tell you what God says in love. We can say it right now. Give me verse 5 and 6. For the whole world is laid up for you again. Where have you heard the word of the truth of God? Which is coming to you as it is in all the world. And right forth as the days of the sun. Since the days you heard of it, and the grace of God is true. For the hope. Everybody here got some hope. Right. Believers walk. So until we come to travel ourselves, Lord, 
we ain't working down here in verse 6. We need to come unto you. And it is what? In all what? The world of the cosmos. And bring forth what? Fruit. fruit. I want you to have fruit. I don't want you to show up in heaven and you say, how many people tell about me? Zero. None. You can show up. You tell nobody. You mean money. You make it all about you. It ain't about you. It's about you bragging about what he done for you. He done put you in enough trouble. Yeah. Put enough mess in your life. And you up and go back and say, hey, he got me out of this. He the one got me out of here. Yeah, he just set me up. Yeah, he know, know the best he's going to get in. Yeah, he the believers are going to have something. He know. Be able to tell somebody yeah. about a true and living God. The believers walk. Do what he said here. As it does also in you since the day you heard of it and knew the grace of God in truth. Yeah. Don't you know what you got you don't deserve? No. Uh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Uh, you know. Didn't even know it. You might as well tell the truth, you know it. Didn't even know it. That real talk, you don't deserve to be here. Right. You don't deserve the class that you win. Oh. You don't worry about the clothes you win. Oh. You don't deserve the peace that you got. Oh. You don't deserve the shoes you win. Right. You don't deserve the kindness that, not on the food got you eating. That's right. You don't deserve that. You got something? But the believers walk. Well, you got something here. Give me verse 7, 8, 9 if you don't mind. let me tell you what he's saying right here. As also learned by Ephrathus, I did fellow serve. In other words, I got a preacher that told me what's going on with you. I'm poor, he's a poor coach here. He's a pastor that told the apostle about what's going on in the church. That's right. You know, people talk from him like it ain't mom the word. Yeah. Bad news traffic. That's right. Faster than good news. Yeah. They got lying every time you turn around. It don't take long with no ear husband, because somebody gonna bring some stuff to you. Let me tell you, don't tell anybody but this. If they bring some mess to you, they carry some mess. They made it high. If they bring some mess, they carry some mess. They gonna spread it. So your mind about give them something to run with. Give them some good news. Give them, tell them about some good news about what Jesus done for you. Yeah. And while they complaining, they giving Jesus some bread. Because the believers want to tell somebody about the goodness of God, what he done done for you personally. Yeah. That's all it is. We say it right here. Amen. Who is for you a faithful minister who also declared on us your love in the spirit. But so that's why people get mad at me, and I tell them, I say, God, I love you now. I'm grateful that God allowed me yeah. to be the pastor of the greatest church inside of heaven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. That's right. Yeah. Every pastor ought to be. I say, I don't know about nobody else. I know who I am. Yeah. I know what I think about old kids. Right. Yeah. I think you are the greatest church inside of heaven, yeah. and I don't care what nobody else think about it. Every chance I get, I tell somebody about you. Brag right about you. But I see what God said in the law. I see God working in your life. I see the scriptures working in your life. I see a change in your life. You know that? You see the change in your life. You will change life. That's why we get praised like we do. I asked somebody, I said, I ain't never been no kid when he was dead. No. Remember, Representative Harold Lemon came down here one time. Uh -huh. He said, that church is on a dead end. But there ain't no dead church. Yeah. You got to stay represented and pray on that candy or something, don't you? Amen. 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 Thank you, Representative Dunn. We pray for you. God bless your heart, young man. But we pray right now. Who also declared unto us your love in the Spirit? Spirit. We need to understand. Back in Bible days, it's a challenge. Come on, Yes, it is. To be in the spirit. The right, day of 2024 is a challenge uh -huh. for the church that is constantly being attacked. Amen. In the spirit. Yes. Because they 
they're doing everything else. But going by thus, say the law. That's why I give you a book, chapter and verse. I give you something solid to stand on. I give you something you can stand flat foot against anybody. I hear what he said, but that ain't what the Bible says. You got weapons. You got weapons of all prayer. I'm not coming. Yes. Then he said, verse 9, for this call. We also, guess what? Since the day what? We heard of from some people gonna talk. But we heard about this. I can see Paul say, you say what? Yeah. Oh, they, they, they pray like that over there. They sing it like that over there. Yes. They got a testimony like yes. I want you to understand. It rained last Sunday evening. It flooded the last couple of days. Uh-huh. And all the folks say, it ain't nothing going on down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then some folks say, I got to get down there. Yeah, come on. I heard they pray yeah. down there, old kid. Yes, I heard they say down there, old kid. I heard they got a testimony down there, old kid. I got to go see come on, for myself. Come on. myself. Yeah. And they showed up. Yeah. And I heard they were telling the crackhead, said, it was booming down here on this day end. Yeah. They heard it two street down the road. Oh. They thought, look how the church going on down there. I got to get down to the church house. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Amen. Anyhow, Amen. since the day we heard of it, guess what? We do not cease uh-huh. to pray for you. Mm-hmm. Brother Susan, that's why I important your prayer life is. That's why we lift up names every Sunday because we do not cease to pray for you. Come on, man. Yeah. And to de- declare that he might be filled uh-huh. with the knowledge yeah. of his will. Yeah. Not your will. Yeah. We're a bunch of Burger King. Yeah. Well, right away. But the reason the Burger King is gone is by this national plan, and he wanted to give you the 411 to let you know what he's all about. How do you know what God's all about if you don't read his word? Come on, man. Don't learn to me. So, so if you want to hide something from somebody, give it in a book. Amen. Give it to them, they ain't going to read it. Amen. Spiritual illiteracy is our greatest adversary. But he says, I want you to be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Understand. Brother, so how hard is it to deal with somebody that you know personally? Lord, with a bad understanding. Amen. 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 Look, you're going to talk to me now. You have what's going to talk to me this morning. How hard is it? Come on now. Like pulling like pull teeth in your throat. Kick and scream. Amen. Amen. That's how you feel about it, huh? You might as well go be honest. God knows. But here's the problem. How you make people feel about what you and your bad understanding? <laughs> Amen. 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 I'm gonna get Amen out of you I know he's stepping on my chair. He's not yours. He's all in my car. Hallelujah. With all the spirit. Understand. So what he's doing is changing us with our bad understanding. Yes. And had a mind of Christ. Oh, yeah. of a boss. I want you to have a mind of Christ. I'm going to change your stinking thing. That? And turn what I want you to have. Yeah. Give me verse 10 and 11. Yeah. See if y'all got something in your body. See, that's why I give you book, Captain Bird. That way you don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you what thus said the Lord. What did he say, 10 and 11? My walk words. Be fruitful in every good work and increase in knowledge of the Strengthen with all my might, cause to be glorious power and to all his long suffering. Give me the John this. Here we go, mercy. That ye, that you, that might walk us. Where? Run, sister, I'm trying to help you walk. Where? That's it. My goodness, my God. You get it, mercy? I, I know it's like dragging. I, I can drag them all day long, but I can't push one nowhere. I'm trying to encourage you and help you hey. to allow you to walk where? Right. Of the law Bullpen. unto all pleasing. Bullpen. Don't worry about pleasing nobody else. Oh, you need to get pleased. You don't want to go to the side, but you come in out of 
out of here. Right. He, he ain't got the key. Right. He the one going to decide where you spend it time. That's it. Smoke it in our smoke. He ain't fruitful. He don't want to have nothing. Right. He wants to be somebody in every word. Good word. Good word. He said the work you're doing is good. Your brothers and sisters, when they talk about you, that means you're doing something good. If you're lifting up Jesus, that means you're doing something good. If you're showing some kindness, that means you're doing something good. Even when they need mugging you, that's it. You're doing some good work. According to God's standard, we're trying to reach lost souls for the body of Christ. Then he said, being fruitful in every good work and increase it. Right. God don't want you to stay around. That's it. Uh, that's right. He wants you to increase that's right. in the knowledge of God. You ready? Come on. We want to learn something. Everybody in here got some kind of vocation. Uh -huh. You got to learn how to do whatever it is. Yeah, you, get a job. Right. you want somebody to pay you for what you know, that's right? right. That's it. All you do is set it out for what you would get. Yeah. That is an unlimited resource to an infinite God if you learn what the Bible say. You got eternal reward. That is right. That is right. And just um, that is right. He said, I, I don't be surprised, but I want to give you a house. Come on. Amen. Amen. I ain't got anything to do. But I got a man. That old man. What's your name on? This kid just, okay, to say, I got my own man. That's right, I got my own man. You got to speak to me now. I got my own man. Come on, man. I got my own man. You must have to share that in you. But Jesus said, in my father's house. Amen. Amen. Guess what? I got my own man. That's it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Where you go? Don't get that there. Come on. Yeah. And Jesus called the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how big is it? Yeah. You know, last time God opened up the window of heaven, he had a flood. Didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. He only rained 40 days and 40 nights. Uh -huh. So, how big is this house? Yeah, 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 yeah. How many witnesses in this mansion? Come on, yeah. man. Right. That's good news. That's good news. what you got. And don't let no demon in hell tell you any different. Right. And we might be upset because they didn't got kicked out of glory. That's it. That's right. That's right. They was up there that day, but they had to be on crack to get kicked out of there. Well, get a crack head, I know they got kicked out of there. So the demon must have been on crack. That's it. Just like I saw the boy falling like lightning on him to the third star's window. And they come in your light on the moon, 187,000 miles a second. They boom with the quick. So that is a mansion in glory with your name on it. The believer was all. Then he said right here, strengthen with all, with all might. When you weak, that's when he's strong. Oh. Your weakness allows God to be strong in your life. When you let go and let go, you can't fix it. You can't change it. You can't change the color of your hair. Except for Miss Farrell, but it's only he can make a difference. Amen. 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 And we learn to lean and trust in God. Brother Sister, I don't know what my last sermon gonna be, but I want to make sure every time I stand here, I'm gonna reach down where you at and try to pull you out. God knows what you're into. That's why you got me preaching this sermon. I'm trying to pull you out the ditch. Strengthen it with all my. Come on, give me, give me verse 11. This is all, all mine. With all, all my heart to the glorious power. To all nations and all sufferings with joy. What we got right here, brothers and sisters, according to his glorious power. Unto all patience. We ain't got no patience. We don't know. You got to wait on the law. They ain't got to wait on the law. They ain't wait on the law. Brothers and sisters, you need to just calm down. Now, I was out in the street, I'm going to get you a queen to the seven Lord Jesus. I saw you roll. Yeah, Lord Jesus. Because the Lord didn't jump. You go, I slowed it down to make you appreciate it. Lord Jesus. 
Amen. He'll show you wrong. God is working this thing out. It takes God's time because you don't see what He's got to do to line up to get everything He way He wants for you. That's right. And it's His time. It's His time. He made time. He put us in time. He walked in time. He died on time. He rose out of time. He stepped out of time. He took it back in time. And you and I are running out of time. Come on, man. His time. His way. The believers walk under all patience and long, long, long. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Lord. You suffer. You know, it's in the Bible. It's long. Yes, it is. We don't want to suffer. A long time. A long time. A long time. It's a thorn in our side. We don't want to put up some mess. That's right. A long time. Yeah. We don't want to put up what we gotta go through. We got the past, the patience of an ant. Got no it ain't about you no way, brothers and sisters. What you going through, God can't get the glory until he gets you out of your mess. He can't get the glory until he gets you out of your chest. Until he gets you out of the heartache. All the things that's going on, he's praying you. He's getting you ready. I don't expect no amen out of that. But I'm showing you a dust. Said the law. And after you get all that long suffering, he said, but you ought to suffer with joyfulness. Be glad. Enjoy. Believe us what? Enjoy going through it. Once you learn to enjoy, uh -huh. Uh -huh. like I told you a while ago, as long as the ground all from bringing you mail, well, Lord, you yeah. all this way. Uh -huh. I mean, he gave you another day. Uh -huh. That means no matter what I went through, he done thought enough of you. Right. To allow you to go through this. Yes. I don't know how. Yes. I don't know when. Yes. But he's going to bring it through. Come on in. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Trust him. Yes. I got to trust him. That's right. Yes. 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 Trust in God. Yes. Oh, no. And lead not what? No. Oh, no. In all the way. Yes. Yes. What are you going to do? Yes. 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 Brothers and sisters, there lies the problem. Psalm 121 and 1. I will lift up my eyes into what? The heat. From what? With oh, my oh my help! Oh, oh yeah, help from God! Yeah. 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 Yo, be a boy, ain't got nothing right now. Yeah. 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 Yo, help from God! Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 With joy from this. Then say, work well. Giving thanks unto the Father which made us. Yeah, made us. Me to be what? Partakers. Of the inheritance of the saints, of the saints in the light. In light. Oh, give me verse 12. Yeah. Somebody missed this. Give me 12. So give me the name of the Father. Of the name of the Father. Of the inheritance of the saints in light. Thank God. Thank God. Did you get in light? Did you get in light? Not just today. In L. I. L. Light is the one that created everything. Light, 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 light. The life that you live in. He want to give you this in life. Yeah. Yes. yes. Is that yes now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. is that yes? Yes. Is, is that yes this morning? Yes. Oh, I, I just need to find out it's for you this morning. Yes. Is that yes? Yes. yes? Now you understand what you're going through in your text. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. It's amazing when it jumped off the page. Amen. This man, how I've been going through this week, just I said, Lord, you mean I'm going to get a chance to preach this old kid? Amen. I, I'm going to share somebody that got a dark spot in their life, but they're going to have a happy moment Amen. when they find out what they're going to say that giving thanks unto the Father which has made us meet to be partakers. Yes. In the inheritance. Uh, well, so you know what inheritance is, don't you? Hey, something you deserve. Come on in. Yeah. Right. You got to be in line to get That's the fire. Yeah. Come on in. Just to think about it. That's that means you're entitled. That's right. Keep, come on. Keep, wait a minute now. Keep, keep, keep. No, but you're not. Yeah. You might have a full. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be looking like a full dog Christian. Well, we turn this frown into a smile. Yeah. <laughs> you are entitled to the inheritance. Come on. Yes. If you just hold on in life, Lord Jesus, a change is gonna come. Lord Jesus, 
The believers walk. Yeah. Ain't that something? Uh-huh. Now let's look at chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. Already, yo. And the reason why he wants you to get this, as Paul was saying, for they never laid eyes on before. They laid this on. I saw him. Yeah, I know. He walked. Yeah. He talked. Yeah. He lived. Yes, he did. He died. Yeah. He rose again. And got up. For me. It went on. You wouldn't be left out. It's for me. That's it. So you would not be left out. Come on, you yeah. want you to be full. Hallelujah. Uh, Today you want to get that is all crazy. Get a little something yeah. on the head, hit the spot. Right. But he wants you to be filled on the inside That's right. with the knowledge and wisdom of who Christ is. That's right. That's right. That's we must walk. Yeah. And ye are complete. complete. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. You are complete. You are complete in him. Complete. Yeah. Let me read verse 10. That means you ain't slacking in no area. That's right. 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 That's Depend on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. I said the Almighty God here. When you weak, he's strong. He's strong. Ain't nobody do it for you. Yeah. He might do it for you like that. Ain't nobody gonna do it. He might do it like he can. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. He real. He deals with us in spite of. I'm for love him. What he came down for. That's why he came down. He said, "Come give me a back. That's right. Man, man. He called me UFO. That's right. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, hey. I got the whole plan. Hey, hey, hey. 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 And he nailed my hand yeah. that the river my feet. Yeah. And I said, Ella, if I ever be lifted up from the earth, I draw a man on the beat. Let it tell the story. Now I'm hungry. It's the earth and glory. And I say, Father, forgive them. Oh, yeah. They don't know what they're doing. Father, forgive them. Mm-hmm. And you're the best you can. Yeah. You die.
Come now. By the blood shall be known many things. We'll look at 1 Corinthians 11 chapter. 1 Corinthians.